mail is when it's for me. I don't care about anyone else's mail. I don't care about your mail. I care about my mail. And I love to get mail, especially here at Classic Game Room, because usually the things I get in the mail are things I understand. Toys, Barbie video games. These are the things I normally receive in the mail. Today I receive something in the mail that I don't understand. But I'm still going to talk about here on CGR Undertale. Because when has me not understanding something stopped me from talking about it in the past? These are... These are... Multicolored gaming lights! So this was sent to us by Cyron. That's not a person, that's a company. This is their multicolored gaming light set. It's got 54 true colored LEDs. Um, and then the wireless remote control that I talked about. I guess I should probably open it. Do you guys want to open it? All right, I suppose it's time to get serious about this. Although I have to be honest with you guys, part of the problem is I don't have a knife. I'll be right back. Let's go see if, actually, let's go see if Brandon has a knife. Come on, Em. Let's go. Hi, Brandon. Can I, can I use your scissors? For sure. Thanks, Brandon. Leviosa! Leviosa. All right, let's try this again. Brandon didn't have a knife, but he did have scissors. And I suppose any type of sharp edge will help you open your package. This is the kind of expert analysis you can expect from CGR Undertow. Any sharp object will help you open your package. Maybe not any sharp object. A knife is, as always, preferable. This isn't working. Brandon, your scissors suck. These are the worst. All right, I found something better. This, this, I think this will be much more successful. You know, to be honest, probably shouldn't be cutting a box of expensive technology with a sword. All right, here we go. Let's open this bitch up. Let's see what's inside. There's more boxes. Well, this is like some kind of Russian nesting doll of technology. You just keep opening boxes, and then there are boxes and boxes, and you keep folding, and you keep folding. This is, I don't know, look, I'm gonna be real honest. This is a lot of plastic, and a lot of cords, and a lot of wires, and I don't know that I have the patience to make this happen. Here's another box. I'm tired of opening boxes. What are all these cords? Oh my God. Guys, I don't know what I'm doing. Leviosa. All right, I guess we'll read. Remote controlled accent multicolor lighting system for gamers, user manual. What would you light today? I, you know what? I would love to light any number of things. I'm just far too lazy for all of this. This is like there's light outside for free. What, why would I? Why would I do all this? This is absurd. See here, it doesn't look like there's that much, but then I look at this and there's just there's shit everywhere. I don't know. I don't even know where to begin with this stuff. Look at all these wires. It looks like technology spaghetti. All right, I'm just gonna get everything out of the plastic. That's gonna be the first step. I mean, I'm, I'm that's all I can really do at this point because I, 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 I procrastinate on reading actual directions. So right now we're just gonna organize. Here's some bubble paper. We'll stab that later with the sword. Um, and now this box is empty, so we can, get, we can get the hell rid of that. All right. Well, I guess now that doesn't look too bad. All right, here we go. Installations, television backlighting. The best location for television installations is normally behind the TV. Well, yeah, well, where else would I put it? What, in front of the TV? Hi, guys. All right, whatever. I'm, I'm, done, I'm done reading. Can't I just put it together? Pogs didn't come with instructions, and that's the pinnacle of modern technology. Where's, like, step one? Th this isn't, it doesn't, there's no step one. All right, so I found this box, which I th earlier I'd thrown aside because I was frustrated, but I found it again. We're going to open this because I feel like this probably has some answers for me. Let's open it up and see. No, it's just more wires. What else is in here? Okay, now we, oh, now we're making progress. Look at that, it's a remote control. What else is in here? Oh, now see, this looks like something. This looks like something important. It says Siron, lighting revolutionized. Let's see what happens when we plug things into it. There's a bunch of ports on the side. Incidentally, there the, they're matching plugs on the, the lighting rods. So I'm just gonna assume I have to plug them in here. Here we go, there's one. I don't know what kind of monster I've created. 
Let's plug it into an electrical outlet and see what happens. All right, I'm gonna plug this in and I'm glad it's on camera. If I get electrocuted to death, I want you all to be, to bear witness. Oh, now we've got something happening. Our light's turning on. Perhaps the mothership's been activated. Okay, here we go. Whoa, something happened. I plugged it, I plugged my phone into the jack here, which is then plugged into this, to the mothership, the motherboard, which also has this IR thing plug, that I plugged in, but I don't know, I don't know how to work that. So what we're gonna do, so we're gonna launch my music player. Look at this, I've got Merciful Fate playing right now. Let's see what happens when I push play. Whoa! I don't know, how about uh, Blackwater Park? We'll play the Leper Affinity. Let's see what this does. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, <laughs> now we're talking. Well, there are some sticky pads. I guess if I wanted to, I could stick these to the back of my television. Hey, let's try that. Probably shouldn't have poured all that out, though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be missing everything. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the clips that mount the lights, and we're gonna stick the adhesives to them, then we're gonna mount them to the back of the television. And then we're gonna have ambient lighting. <laughs> well, that took longer than it had any right to. It was actually quite simple. I'm just a tremendous idiot who is stuck in a century that no longer is, and I don't know how to work anything. Uh, it turns out the IR thing is for the remote. I figured that out when it wouldn't work without it plugged in. So I plugged that back in, that's what the IR is for. I thought it was for some kind of crazy motion controls or something. You can choose colors just using this handy wireless remote. I mean, let's see if I can do it here on camera. Watch this, if I hit color, look, you can do all kind of crazy things. I can change the colors, look at that. I can pause the colors on the one that I want. I can slow it down. So I gotta tell you, I'm a big fan of this. You've got dimmers on it. You've got all kind of switches. Here, I'll just show you what, what's on the, the remote. Look at all the cool little functions you can do. You can you can put it on a sleep timer. You can speed up the transitions. You can there's a volume button, so I'm assuming that's for when you actually plug in audio, like when you actually for people who actually know how to work this kind of stuff, and not idiots like me. So there are actually a couple pre-programmed light shows in this. That's what I've been messing around with. Uh, but by using the adjusters on on the remote, you can it says here that there are 117,000 color combinations possible. And then you can use these color dials to match your, you know, your room decor or, you know, the movie you're watching or whatever. And again, you can, you can also plug in some audio. And I think that actually directly has some sort of effect on the lighting. I don't know. Like I said, I, I plugged in Merciful Fate and some things happened. It's a Siren multicolor accent lighting system. 